HOU 11 Studios, this is Age Town Run. I think it's unfortunate, uh, but I think it's probably the right move. Now at five, we're talking coronavirus cancellations. March Madness will go on, but without fans. And the NBA suspends play until further notice. This morning, we want your take on all of this. Should other sports leagues follow the NBA's league and suspend play? Chime in at KJU.com slash vote now. Thanks everybody for waking up with us here on H-Town Rush. I'm Xavier alongside Brandy, Steph, and Cheetah. But when you think college hoops, mm -hmm. you think the NBA, two big events impacted yeah. so far. And the rodeo. And the rodeo, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but waking up this morning for folks just getting the news or the alerts on their phone, shock factor. Huge. Drastic measures Big for time. public safety, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we're going to have much more on that coming up in a few minutes. Cheetah, we want you to kick off our rush block. All right, guys, so this is day number three. We're tracking and talking a dense fog advisory. Now, mainly this morning, this is impacting our coastal areas. If you're waking up in Galveston, if you're waking up on the island, this is what you're waking up to. So some dense fog out the door. Otherwise, though, once you head in town and especially north of town, different than yesterday, you're starting off this morning with higher cloud ceilings and really visibility is a lot better. So throughout the day today, we're going to warm up quickly. We're starting off this morning mid to upper 60s. Heat and humidity, that will continue. High temperatures build to 80 degrees today. A little bit of that sunshine will keep us dry throughout the day. However, rain chances pop back in beginning tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up next stuff. All right, Cheetah, thank you. Let's go to the Gulf Freeway. Here is a cluster of traffic caused by some construction. So you've got road work on both sides of the freeway. But if you were joining us a few minutes ago, I pulled everything back so you could see this is only a very small portion of the drive and you don't even need to take the frontage road. Hopefully this will clear away by 530, but this is in the Lamarck area heading in and out of Dickinson as well. So it's less than a half a mile of that roadway project. So we take you to the overall map green being celebrated all across except right here southbound side of your 99 heading towards the Katy Freeway. Little bit slower could be something in the works that has not yet been reported. And sometimes when it's this slow, it's maybe a debris field and they have to block lanes just to clear it and send you on your way. Xavier. All right, Steph, thanks. Driving drunk with kids in the back seat. Yeah, that, that's what Houston police say a woman was doing when she rear ended an officer overnight. This was on Washington Ave near I-10 just after midnight. They arrested her for DWI. It's likely she'll face felony charges because there were two children inside her car. There was minor damage to the vehicles. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Also breaking overnight in a leaf, a man is shot and left in the middle of the street to die after a drive by shooting. HPD found him on East Street near Cook Road. Paramedics did CPR on him, but weren't able to save him. Investigators say a black Mercedes pulled up and someone fired several shots from the car. They hope surveillance video will help identify the shooter. Fighting the spread of coronavirus, President Trump suspends travel from Europe to the U.S. Janelle Ford is live at Bush Airport. Janelle, there's a lot to unpack here. Break down what this means for everyone at home. Well, Xavier, it's a 30 day travel ban that starts tomorrow, but who it affects is worth noting. The ban it largely targets foreign nationals. American citizens are exempt. They just have to be screened at airports. Now, in addition to this, the U.S. State Department, they're also warning that American citizens avoid all international travel. That's short of the most severe caution it can offer of do not travel. President Trump made the announcement yesterday in an address from the Oval Office. He blamed the European Union for not acting quickly enough to address COVID-19, saying U.S. clustered were seeded by European travelers. The ban targets 26 European countries, including France, Italy and Greece, but excludes the United Kingdom. Now, aside from the disruption to tourism, airlines are going to take a big hit because of this. They've already started cutting many international routes. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Now, Fort Live at Bush Airport. Thank you. School districts and universities are, are doing their part to protect their communities. Now, let's get to Michelle Choi live in the newsroom. Michelle, how are they reacting? Xavier, given the fluidity, fluidity of the situation, not all schools are making the same decision. However, each one is being impacted, so let's break it down. Starting with HISD, they're now requiring all employees, students, and their families to let the district know if they're planning to travel for spring break next week. The district is also limiting campus visitors when school resumes. Montgomery ISD is closing all of its schools early for spring break starting today. They say they'll be deep cleaning campuses. Aldine and Cypress, Fairbanks ISD, ISD are suspending perfect attendance rules for the rest of the school year. 
Forpen ISD and Klein ISD haven't made any drastic changes yet, but say they're closely monitoring the situation. KDISD is excusing virus-related absences, and Paralyn ISD says anyone traveling to any of the countries on the CDC's travel warning list must notify a principal. As for universities, the University of Houston is canceling classes next week. They'll resume on March 23rd, but only online until further notice. Rice University canceled classes earlier this week and planned to resume on March 23rd, but say that could change. Baylor University extended its spring break for a week as well as UT Austin. For the full list of how schools are responding, head to KHOU.com. Brandy? A lot of precaution, Michelle. Heartbroken, bummed, just a couple of ways that artists reacted to news that the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is canceled and they're not going to get to perform on the star-shaped stage. Lizzo uh, asked fans to take care. John Party wrote that though he was looking forward to it, got to keep everyone safe. And Kane Brown, set to perform last night, just said, Sorry guys, reaction like that is pouring in along with thousands of comments from you guys on Facebook. These range from disappointed but understanding to straight up big mad. Mixed in there are a lot of questions like, what about all the kids who put in time and money into their animals for the livestock show? They're taking that cancellation pretty hard. I mean, I understand, it just sucks, you know? Putting like all the time and effort and money into not being able to do it. I don't think they should. Really, I mean, I get it's very serious, but there's a lot of kids, over a thousand of them in there, all trying to show their livestock that we worked on for months. At last check, crews were working to move that livestock off the grounds and shut down the rest of the rodeo, including the carnival and exhibits. A whole lot of you want to know how to get a refund, maybe for your concert ticket or your season passes. Here's what I can tell you about that. The rodeo says it's going to announce its process today. We're going to share that with you as soon as we learn more. But if you bought your ticket from a third party website like StubHub or SeatGeek, your refund is already being processed. All right, Brandy, the NBA also feeling it. The league is suspending the season after Utah Jazz center Rudy Gobert tested positive for the coronavirus. This was the scene in Oklahoma City before the game between the Jazz and Thunder. Players were told to return to the locker room. In the last 10 days, the Jazz had played five games, including stops in Boston, Cleveland, and Detroit. And this moment from Monday is also going viral. It shows Gobert touching all of the media microphones with his hands. And that was after the NBA changed the rules and the session was held in a different room. And the reaction from Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban went viral. He was sitting in the stands at last night's game when he heard the news. Here's what he said. This is something out of a movie and you just don't expect it to happen in real life. But that's the randomness of, of, of the world we live in. The NBA said in a statement that they are working to determine the next course of action. And we want you to join this conversation this morning. Should other sports leagues follow the NBA's league and suspend play? Vote now at KHOU.com slash vote now. Lakewood is moving services online and Galveston is bracing for a big impact on the cruise industry. There's a lot more to talk about in your rush block as our COVID-19 coverage rolls on. No in-person service at Lakewood Church. Instead, Pastor Joel Osteen will only stream his services online indefinitely. That begins with Saturday night's 7 o'clock service and will continue until further notice. Lakewood made the call in part because of the number of international visitors each week. More passengers from the Grand Princess cruise ship are heading to Texas. Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio is expecting another plane with up to 120 people transferred from California where the ship docked this week. Those passengers will be quarantined for two weeks. Galveston is closely monitoring coronavirus's impact on cruising. Many passengers boarding this ship on Wednesday were not that worried, but federal officials are warning people to be wary of cruising, especially older people with health issues. Meanwhile, some Galveston businesses report a slowdown in cruise passenger foot traffic, although the agency that oversees the port reports no significant impact yet. No live audiences. Many television shows are taping without fans in response to the outbreak. Ellen DeGeneres tweeted the news yesterday, and KHOU's own Great Day Houston is suspending its live audience as well. And that's your Rush Block on this Thursday morning.